U.S. Brazil ties have not always been smooth, but took a nosedive in 2013 over revelations that the U.S. National Security Agency was spying on Brazil. At that time, Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff canceled a state visit to Washington. And two years later, the countries may be resetting relations, with Rousseff visiting the White House on June 30th. So people have sometimes compared Brazil and the United States to two star-crossed lovers. Uh, every time they get to the altar, the roof of the church uh, seems to collapse. And proving that, there was a, a state visit that Dilma or President Rousseff had scheduled for the White House in 2013. And then right before that was supposed to happen, the NSA scandal erupted with Edward Snowden and his revelations. And as a result, uh, President Rousseff canceled the visit. Since then, concerns over U.S. espionage faded compared to the Brazilian government's other problems. Rousseff is taking heat at home amid a corruption scandal and a recession. Que commodities terão demanda maior que oferta nos próximos cinco anos? Ética. Muito bem. The president, facing her lowest approval rating so far, has the goal of economic recovery. Brazil is looking to improve trade relations abroad. Because there was this very important demand coming from China, Brazil didn't really uh, make the effort it was necessary to open new avenues of trade. This is the reason why today Brazil does not have a privileged access to markets in North America, to markets in Europe or even to markets in Asia. It is definitely an area that has to change dramatically if Brazil is to increase one of the lowest averages of international trade as percentage of a country's GDP. On the other hand, troubled ties didn't slow trade with the U.S., which grew by 83% in the last decade. Rousseff's visit to Washington could steer more interest, and timing, in this case, it's not a coincidence. It makes sense to sit down with the United States at this point, really for two reasons. One, the U.S. economy is doing fairly well in comparative uh, perspective with respect to, say, the European Union and other, other areas that are starting really to slow down to a grinding halt. And secondly, because the United States is on the verge of moving forward with a lot of trade diversion negotiations. So how can better relations with the United States help improve the Brazilian economy? The most important industry to benefit from U.S.-Brazil relations is Brazil's manufacturing sector, uh, the one that's been struggling so hard. Brazil has had considerable expansion in terms of services in this past uh, 13 years. Brazil has also had an important boost in its uh, agro-business, which is known across the world for its competitiveness, for the state of the art in many different sectors. So manufacturing is really the big challenge for Brazil. And interesting enough, it's one area that uh, applies very well to American interest at present. Brazil has an interest in expanding its export profile to the United States because the United States is a unique consumer of its high-value added manufacturers. We first have to remind ourselves that the United States is currently running a, tr a positive trade balance with Brazil and it's, it deems Brazil as a market that can absorb more U.S. exports. At the same time, the U.S. is running a historic trade, a negative trade balance with the rest of the world. So Brazil is seen as a part of the solution to the United States' uh, trade deficit problems. Even with the bilateral mood still improving, the obama Rousseff meeting may just be a first step. The agenda for this meeting is thin, but I still think is potentially very important, and the reason goes back to the human relations between leaders. And, you know, you can talk a lot about policy and about issues like trade and, 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 but ultimately part of what makes things like trade advance is when there's a good personal relationship between presidents and therefore between their governments. Would it be possible to promote closer ties with the U.S. while pursuing goals of becoming a global force? Brazil is a giant sovereign country 
and it has its own interests, and it cannot be expected to fall into line with everything that Washington believes. Uh, and I think most people realize that. I, I had a conversation once with a, a, a U.S. official who said, we're still trying to figure out whether Brazil is Britain or France. And of course it's neither, but what they mean by that, is it a country that's gonna line up with us most of the time, or is it a country that we're gonna you know, spiritually be in line with, but have some occasional or even some regular differences with, like as is the case with France. And in that dichotomy, Brazil is France. Uh, and that's fine. For ASCOA Online, this is Luisa Leme. For more news and analysis on Latin America, visit as-coa.org and subscribe to our YouTube channel.